Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome to the chat lounge. Today, we've got Matea in the chat. She's an amazing actress and also a Chabak acting expert. So I'm very curious to get to know more about her, her story, and her studio in Berlin. So welcome her to the chat. Hello, Hello. <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. And how are you today? Yes, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited. Mm, me too. So, first of all, let's, uh, yeah, may I ask you to introduce yourself to the people out there? So, hello everyone. I'm very excited to be here. My name is Matija Chavic. Uh, I'm an actress. I'm also an acting coach and I do a lot of uh, content creation on Instagram and TikTok. So, yes, I have three jobs that I'm <laughs> juggling, but that's, that's, I, 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 I love it. So, I can't skip one of those parts so that's why i have to do all three of them yeah yeah and i live in i live in berlin i am from vienna originally and uh yeah what else what else i don't know that's a lot so where did you like where were you born and where did you grow up then so i i was born in oberndorf by salzburg which is like a very very small small village but i was only born there because my mom didn't make it in time to vienna so i was born on the route more or less but i grew up in vienna so that's that's where yeah that's why i i used to or should say that i'm from because that's more correct I think okay so so yeah. you went there to school what were your like as a child what were your first hobbies so your, your school what did you like in school what were your first hobbies and and the passions that's a very interesting question um I probably well I was I was always like playing a lot with um dolls but also cars and um now that I think of what I started very early on was like I always created like family stories with my toys so even if I would play with cars with my brother's cars you know like the little cars I would like make families with them so there were like mama car and papa car and then now that I'm an actress you know probably that like was one of the things where it started because I always needed to create like families and family dynamics and like conflicts between everyone so um that was some I was playing a lot I did like little plays for my family and I shot movies in on an early age on with my friends I forced my brother he was he's seven years younger than me and like he I think he hates me for that, but like I used him for everything. Yeah, interesting because like yeah, with, with that kind of dynamic already as a child and this kind of passion, there are certain ways you can go. Like then af afterwards. So, but then what happened first? So you were then a young adult, a teenager, young adult. So what was your first professional? Where? What was your route? Was it already acting, or what? Did you go like a different path first? Um, so for me, to be honest, um, from the age of four, I decided to be a clown. Okay. And, <laughs> That's pretty and cool. From, from, from then, it really, like, it changed to acting on a very, very, very early. So um, it was always clear for me to do acting. And then I think at the age of 13, I uh, got signed by an agency and I did a lot, a lot of commercial stuff. So... Um, I start, started very early and then I, I, it was always clear for me to, to study acting, go to drama school and like, just wow. go with it. So that was very clear, but then, um, you know, life happens and nothing always turns out like you think it would. And, um, so then I was like, for, for going to drama school, you have to apply. And there, it's very hard to get into drama school. So they have like hundreds, sometimes thousands of, of people that apply. And then they only take like eight to 16 people. So it's like very hard to get into drama school. And I started when I was 17, like uh, it was my last year in school and I already applied for drama schools. Okay. And um, I, I always got to the last round, but then they always told me, well, you're 17, go live a little, do something, just go outside and like, 
live. Yeah. And I was like, I was so mad at them. I was like, no, I want to do it now. Please yes. let me in. So, yeah. uh, but now I'm very happy because then some things changed. I, I moved to Paris and I, I just started living my life and, you know, just being young and free and wild. And then, yeah. um, then I started studying um, history of arts and um, I somehow, I, I got like, I was so mad at those acting schools, those drama schools and those teachers. And I was like, no, yeah. I, I quit. I, I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah. I have a plan B. So mm -hmm. uh, I decided to go for plan B, which was like graphic design. Okay. which uh, of course you also have to like apply and it's very hard to get in I didn't choose yeah. the easy way so I was like okay <laughs> let's do this and um at the time I wasn't like I wasn't very good in drawing or anything I was good with like computer stuff and photoshop and so on and um so I had to take uh, classes for drawing and stuff yeah. and I created my map and everything and I applied and I actually I got in I got in for, for graphic design uh, at the academy. And um, then I did like a, an internship at a um, graphic yeah. uh, design office. And then I just figured this is like, this is not for me. It's like, this is totally not my thing. So yeah. I was like, at this point, I really, I really listened to my intuition and I just canceled on them and I didn't do that. And I was like, okay, no, this is this is not my thing, and I'm not happy with it. So I got back, and I was like, okay, now I really, I really try, I really do everything to get into drama school. And I got a teacher, and I was really training hard, and uh, yeah, and then I finally succeeded. So wow, yeah, and I got into wow. drama school, and that's it. <laughs> Amazing. So, but how how much time like? The past, like you went to Paris, and did you do like the graphic part in Paris, or was that then like back in? Yeah, I, I was only one year in Paris, and then I moved back to Vienna. Okay, and then I did like uh, all the studying and graphic yeah. design thing. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Yeah. But your heart told you like go back into this drama school, <laughs> right? So drama studies and so on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but that, exactly. that's also a yeah, bold but move. I love that about you because that's a bold move, you know, and also to say like, no, that's what I really want and I'm going to fight for that. Yeah. yeah. And it's also, it's also taking risks because I was already in the school. Yes. Like I could have studied graphic design and be like, I can do acting on the other side. Like I can yeah. still, like I can focus on the graphic design and then do yeah. like acting on the side. But I was no. <clears throat> If you're studying, then you're like your focus is there, and you you don't have time for other things. And so, yeah, I, it was a risk. It was risky to just quit on them. So, but yeah, yeah, I but, but I like that. So then you uh, you you came in, and so that was like three years. Or how long does a study uh, a drama study in, in in Germany? Or was it then in Vienna? Vienna or already? No, it was it was it was in Stuttgart, in ah, Germany. Okay, and um, yeah. And it was uh, four years, four years. So you have like three years. It's like really, it's a 24 seven studies. Like I went eight o'clock, I was there and I got out of school, I don't know, at 12 or something. So like in the night, midnight, you know? Yeah. So wow. it was like, a really, it's a really, really intense study. And um, yeah, so it was like three years in school. And then the fourth year I was already uh, at the State Theater in Darmstadt, I was already working there. So, yeah, but like it's four years usually. Yeah. Okay. So then, and what were the greatest parts in like, because four, four years is a long time, but if you're like passionate about it, you're going to do it anyways. So what was uh, the, the biggest um, aha moment in that school or in that uh, kind of educational part of acting? And where did you think, like, or was it really necessary? Yeah, what are your thoughts on, on <laughs> studying acting, like, for four years? And <laughs> I think is to be honest, I had so many aha moments. I had so many of them. I can't, I can't count them. It's like you really, first you go there, and um, in every class, they tell you, you you're not able to do anything. 
So they really put you to basic. Okay. You can't stand, you can't sit, you can't walk because okay. like your posture is wrong. Like your way you speak is wrong. The way you stand is wrong. Like everything you do is like wrong. So you, everything you used to do, you know? So they really train you to be like neutral in some mm -hmm. kind of way and they and then they build you up and um so first of all like the first year was just like i'm not able to do anything so what why am i here so and then you learn the basics and there are so many aha moments because you really like um i think this is one of the studies where you really like it takes time it takes and now that i'm coaching people i see that i see exactly the process of like you really have to do it in so many different ways to really understand yeah. some things. And then if it clicks, it clicks. And then you're like, oh, that's it. That's what everyone was talking about for like ages. And I'm like, why don't I, didn't I get it before? So, um, yeah. And, and, and I think what is very special about drama school is because it's like such a luxury study. Um, I mean, we were like only eight people. Oh, wow. So, and we had like so many private lessons and um, it was like really, it was great. And what really, what it really does is like it, 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 it grows, like everyone is growing together and it's very personal because of course acting is very personal. So yeah. I, after, I don't know, one month, I already had the feeling with my classmates. I knew them for like ages already because yeah. we went through so many things together already. So uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. And then after the four years, so you passed the exams and everything was fine. So what happens then for for an actress, a young actress? And so usually when you went to a state drama school, they really want you to to work in theater afterwards because this okay. is like one of the safe things to do after school if because you know on on the resume it really looks good if you're like if you're finished drama school and then you, afterwards you already got a job and it's like very hard also to find a job in a theater like a, okay. a steady job okay. it's like it's in in germany or the german speaking area it's like a very specific kind of um system with with theater we have like contracts for one and two years usually okay. in other cities we they have like only companies and uh, like theater companies where you only rehearse for I don't know six weeks in one play and then you have to find another one so the system in, in the German speaking area is very very special for that and um so I was already working in in, in Darmstadt and then I changed to Tübingen so I was there for two years uh which was awesome I really loved it it's a small city but like I I had the best time of my life to be honest or really like <laughs> amazing because i got to explore a lot of things it's um it was a little theater and i i was playing like all the lead roles i was playing a juliet i was playing a gretchen in faust so i did like all this stuff yeah and um yeah i had i had a good time there really yeah amazing. so okay you already didn't switch into theater yeah and then what happened then because somewhere along the way okay Go ahead. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, long way to um, yeah, I was so um, I was always aiming for learning more. So mm -hmm. during my time in theater, I was like, I was so thirsty of um, still getting more information. I was like, I'm I'm not done. I'm I I still have to learn something. Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. I came across uh, Ivana Chabak. She's like an acting teacher for the big stars. She coached uh, Brad Pitt, Charlize Theron, Hal Berry, Jim Carrey, like all the major people. Yeah. And um, so she created an uh, uh, an acting technique, a very specific acting technique based on Stanislavski and Jutta Hagen and stuff. Uh, and people and um so i came across her book and i read it and i was like oh wow this is like wow this this really gets me and then i i joined one of her master classes that she gave in uh in berlin in 2018 i believe and i was only auditing i was only there and like auditing and looking and watching and uh, i really like it really clicked what i really liked is like the technique on its own like I yeah. really felt 
it was logic for me. It really, it had like, it had like this 12 steps program where you can, like, if you do all the 12 steps, you're ready to go. And I was like, oh yeah, now okay. I finally got like a plan. And, um, and then I, I really, what I really liked about her is that she really, she really wanted um, the people that she was teaching to be really good. So she was pushing mm -hmm. them till the end. She could have like, it was just an, a two days masterclass. So, I mean, she's like traveling around the world. So she could be like, okay, well, if you don't get it now, well, I don't know, maybe you get it in another year or something. Yeah. But like she was really pushing the people and I really liked that about her. Mm -hmm. So I once again took a risk. I was like, okay, I, I, I'm I done with, with theater in Tübingen. I'm, I have to quit. I have to go another step and uh, I quit my safe job, wow. which is in this industry, uh, also a risky um, uh, choice. Yes. And I, I asked her um, if I could join her in Los Angeles mm -hmm. in her studio. So um, so I, I moved there for three months and I, I went to the studio there. And it was just amazing. And I, I, I loved uh, the studio experience, the acting studio experience, because in a German speaking area, we don't have that. We don't have acting studios. Oh, um, may I ask you to describe what is a, what is a studio, an acting studio? Oh yeah, an acting studio is like more or less uh, a tr you can you can imagine it like a, a training center, like a gym for actors. Mm -hmm. So it's like um, actors go there weekly to train, to train all their abilities to act. So um, this is like this is so necessary because you know musicians, dancers, they always practice. They they practice for hours every day, and uh, I think. For actors, it's like some are a bit lazy. Some are like they don't have to do that, and then they're like sitting there and waiting, do some workshops now and then. But like the the training on a regular basis, that's very necessary for any art uh, yeah. or probably any any job, I I believe. And um, so uh, yeah, so it's like a, a training center for actors okay. and uh, where they can go to weekly and train. So Amazing. yeah, that's, and yeah. I, I, I really like, uh, I love that dynamic there. And um, I was like, okay, we, we, we need this in Germany. We need, we need this kind of acting studio. And I was like, okay, if, if like nobody else does it, then I have to do it, you know? So yes. I was asking Ivana Chabak um, if she could train me as an, as a coach for her technique. Yeah. And uh she said yes. She trained me. I, I'm now an accredited uh, Chabak teacher, and uh, together with my colleague Angelina Berga, who also did the teachers training and stuff, who also was in Los Angeles with me, um, yeah, we, we we founded our own acting studio, the Chabak Studio Berlin. So yeah, that's that's the the little story about about everything. Yeah, yeah. Along the way, until when did you found the Chabak Studio in Berlin? It was, um, it, we started in January, 2021. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. So um, it was like during the pandemic. So for us, it was quite a good start, to be honest, because we started with online classes. Mm -hmm. So, which was like the, the logic thing to do because, um, yeah, it wasn't possible to do in-person classes. So this really, to be honest, helped us to to get into business because we didn't have to make invest, in, investments in like rooms and stuff first. Yeah. So we could really build up online and it, it, it really grew like very quickly. Yeah. Um, also because uh, we were lucky because the technique, the Chabak technique is like, it's now like really getting, getting, like people know it here in the German speaking area. So people automatically just came to us because of the technique. So we didn't have to do a lot of advertisement. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> so we started with online classes and then we, we started with in-person classes as, as much as it, as it was possible at the time during like the lockdown phases and stuff. And um, yeah, so we, 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 yeah, we build it up 
step by step. We started with one class, uh, then two classes for Angelina and for me, and then we had three classes, and then we had like a lot of crash courses too. And now uh, we're growing and growing because we have another teacher and another accredited teacher, Jörg Witte. Now we have another teacher, um, Anne Weinknecht and Ariana from Italy and our colleague that she is doing a lot of online classes. Um, we have assistants and so it's growing step by step, which very organically, to be honest. Yeah. So um, cool. we didn't we didn't have to do a lot of like risks in the business, yeah. but like only it was like growing very organically. Yeah. Yes. And what yeah. it also does is like it creates kind of a community. Yeah. Um, and, and that's very important for us to, you know, especially in arts and especially with actors, there's a lot of competition, a lot of competition. And um, so I always found myself here, especially in Germany and the German speaking area, that actors are very competitive against each other and they're very jealous and not like not very supportive and um what i found in los angeles was like a different way of thinking as in like here it's like why did why did he got a job why did she get it get this job they're not good enough la 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 all these like negative way of thinking and there it's like a different way of thinking they're yeah. like they're happy for each other they're like oh wow you booked that job that's awesome because why because it motivates myself to work hard because if i work the same way you do i can do the same thing i can book the same job so it's more of a positive way of thinking and it's really supportive and that's what surprised me to be honest to see that in los angeles where like competition is big 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 um but like they're very they were very supportive in especially in the studio yeah and so we really try to bring that way of thinking to to yeah. the german speaking area too and i think we really succeeded in yes exactly really big heart <laughs> because i think we're to be honest that's what i'm most proud of because i think we really created that kind of of um community where our actors in our studio are very supportive yes. and they, they they took the way of thinking um in a positive way in like a supportive way and that's also that's so necessary because um I, i'm like so proud because the 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 things that that came out of this like how many how many of my of, of my students like really now shot movies together they wrote scripts they did their own thing they always support each other with like self taping and stuff they really you see when i see those things that makes that makes me so happy because i'm like yes that's that's the way to go you know so and actually that's something important very important you said like the comp competition in germany and also this kind of hatred jealousy why i never understood it anyways because i thought like you're not going to grow personally if you're jealous of someone that's not going to happen <laughs> so you exactly. are only, right so you're only able to grow if you support others and see their success and you if you are happy for other people then it kind of also enhances you and your life i never understood um i never understood that part uh, in, in germany and also in switzerland it's very competitive in switzerland as well yeah 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 I think in Europe in general, I yeah. think probably everywhere, but like the, it's yeah. only the way of thinking, you know? Yeah. And it's like, it's so logical because if you, if you waste energy on other people of being like thinking in a negative way, right. you, 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 you put that energy away from you. Like you, yeah. you, you, you use that energy for doing good for you and being like, okay, I take the energy and build up myself and be like working harder. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so it, yeah. So true. I agree with you. I totally doesn't make any sense to yeah. be jealous. And I yeah. love that, that you, uh, that you made this move and that you're really growing something here uh, uh, with the Chabak uh, studio in Berlin and amazing. I love that. So let's go like your biggest, like, yeah, so, so kind of nutshell questions. So your biggest challenge in life, what was a big, where you said like, wow, okay, that was a hard one on me. Um, well, as, as I mentioned already, I, I, I'm 
right now I'm juggling with three jobs. And um, so my, my main job is I'm an, still an actress. And um, I, I, during the pandemic, I build up my social media. So I have now a community followers that I, I have to put out content there. Yeah. So that takes time. I needed to build up the studio. And I really, what I really uh, am struggling right now is to really focus um, on my goals and be like, don't, uh, not forgetting what I, what I want. And um, so finding the balance between those things, that's really, really hard that I'm still struggling. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, because you have like a lot of responsibility now. I have the responsibility for the acting studio. I have responsibility for my social media and my followers. Sounds weird, yeah. but yes, yeah. I feel as if I have a lot of yeah. responsibility for them because they're like, they want content. They, they, yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy to give all I can, but my day is also only 24 hours. So <laughs> I found myself in situations where I was like, okay, I, probably am cl very close to burnout yeah and i'm overworking myself and um i i have to find a balance between life and like enjoying life and being in the moment my yeah my work-life balance those mm -hmm. things and my goals yeah those two challenges are like my big big challenges mm -hmm. right now i'm then curious so have you already got an idea of how you're going to kind of harmonize because now you're juggling kind of right <laughs> and so yeah. uh, and then the, the harmonization is now kind of your 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 yeah challenge at the moment right if I, yeah yeah so um i really believe in goals in setting goals yes and um this is really something that i always went with I always had a goal in mind and for so first of all i was like i i will build up the chubbuck studio that's what I did. I was like, had a goal of like, I will build up my social media. And I did. So I, I really yes. see that this works. If you set your goal, like all the energy, if you have a goal in mind, all the energy comes and you really are aiming for it and you, you can do it, you know? Yes. And um, so this is something I, I, I believe is very important to really set your goal and go after it and be clear about your goal. And I think that's that's what I um, think is like my problem right now to put my goal in the direction of acting. Okay. I, to be honest, I was working on it and I, or I'm still working on it and I have my goal as an actress. And the moment I really felt connected to that goal again, all the things came. So, um, I book jobs randomly, like, um, you know, auditions came in, yeah. uh, theater um, requests came in. So this, I, I believe, like, really sticking to that goal will make me go there. Yes. And uh, that's one thing. And the, the work-life ba balance thing, um, well, a solution for that probably is really, um, like, living in the moment and like saying yes to a lot of things so yes. even I, i'm pushing myself even if i had a lot of like a work day and i'm like exhausted i still if someone tells me of my friends you know let's go for dinner i'm like i could stay at home and order in or something but like i say yes i go to those places mm. and i go out and i meet my people and also, um, I think it's very important to to um, do working hours. That's yeah. something I, I started with. It's like um, really setting my my weekends are off. Yeah. I, I still, you know, this is like the optimal case. Yeah. Of course, I'm all also working on weekends sometimes. Yeah. But like usually, I really try to keep my weekends off. Mm. Um, and just also like not no emails, no um, WhatsApp messages with students or whatever. No, it's like really this. Those are my weekends, and yeah. they're off. So I that's that's what I try with uh, balancing the work life thing. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if that helps, but like this is the way I I am juggling yeah. right now. 
Oh, I'm actually course. working on that one as well. Uh, I'm I'm working. I'm still working on weekends and and that kind of. But I just I love it so much. That's a problem. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's a problem. But it's also the mindset of like breaks are also working time. Absolutely. Yes. I listen to you and I say, oh, okay, that's a moment for. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> awesome yes that's the success journal don't hesitate to start journal guys start journaling guys because if you want to structure your days your days your visions your goals and so on then please do that by journaling you can buy any journal but the best one is my one and that's on amazon available on amazon and it's going to be tech so okay the short advertisement in between <laughs> I yes it. i love it i love it <laughs> So yeah, but that's awesome. what what you said. Like then, um, uh, also in a nutshell, because I would like to build in the chat back. Because like, people, where can people go to you? Like, how can they get in touch with you? And what are the main? Why should a person come to Chapak Studio? You know, what is it about Chapak Studio in a nutshell? And what are they gaining out of it? Okay, so the good thing about the Chapak technique is, or also our studio is like you really can start from scratch so we have a lot of people who aren't trained actors uh, a lot of people who had a career before and decided to become actors afterwards or even people who are just starting in you know young adults who just want to become actors so um you can really start on any level with our with our school we have a, also advanced classes where we have of course trained actors so um the good thing is like you can start anywhere and um that's also one thing not anywhere as in like a life but also anywhere in like um you know geographically because we have classes in person in berlin and also classes online which is awesome and um so the benefits of it is like you really it's really really easy to adjust you have like this 12-step program that is like very logical and clear to follow yeah. and it's very very effective so even um i always see it when i do like two days uh, crash course intensive classes that people like the 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 change of um first day and second day when they uh, like just all the the 12 steps it's like it's so, so effective like this technique is really really great you don't have to study it for years and years it's already doing changes when you just adjust tools from it um so it's very very helpful and uh, of course it's like really a, a, a training center so we we have like the system where you where you book a month and then you can decide either you want to go for another month or you make a break yeah. really depending on your work schedule which is awesome and which is necessary because like especially as actors um we are like we are on set at some point and then we can't go to acting class so this system really really helps and is there for actors and working actors to really be in training and be able to train on a regular basis, but also work. And um, yeah, you can find us, uh, our homepage is chabakstudioberlin.com. Um, uh, very easy to find. You can also follow us on Instagram. It's just chabakstudioberlin. You can follow me on Instagram, Matija Chavich. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to just write us an email or get in touch with us on Instagram. You can also get in touch with me on Instagram. So yeah, I there. Yeah, we're here. We're out there in the, in the world, world wide web. So you can find us. Yes, I love and that. <laughs> please feel free to to join our classes, our crash courses, and our studio classes. And uh, yeah, have a look on our homepage. We do classes in German and in English online and in person so we yeah. have everything for everyone yes yeah that's amazing and i can highly recommend it to you guys so <laughs> also there are some very interesting um coaching parts in it because i'm a certified coach and i love also parts in it where i said like oh my god that's really interesting also in terms of coaching so that's pretty pretty exactly cool. yeah 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 uh, and and one in a nutshell is it also i would say chapak is empowering and one more empowering, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yes, completely. Yes. Yeah. It's very empowering. It's this technique really um you know it it uses your own personal stuff but like in a very proactive way so you use your traumas miseries i don't know how to put it yeah, yeah. Uh, and you really you really take that and put it into a proactive way of like overcoming all these traumas and miseries and fears and whatever in your life and this really feels good. So you, this is powerful because you feel empowered through the arts. Yeah. You use your shit, to be honest, and, and just put it into something good. And yeah, so this is like really also healing and empowering. So yeah, um, yeah. that's, so that's cool. what, it's, what makes this technique really great. Yeah. I love that. I love that. I'm going to pick a card. That's something which I really love. I'm going to shuffle the cards. You're going to say stop. And whatever card is going to pop up, you may uh, say what you feel or what your thoughts are on this card. So I'm going to shuffle the cards now. <laughs> it's pretty It's pretty cool. Okay. The shuffling of these cards is pretty difficult. <laughs> they are huge. <laughs> okay. Difficult. Now I have, to, I have to listen to my... Intuition, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Stop. Yeah, uh, it's this one. <laughs> oh my god, that's beautiful. Wow. Yes. Oh. So now I I I just say what is in my mind, right? Yeah. I, I, I love that. I, I really see um, something growing and something beautiful growing. Yeah. And it's, it's shining in the light, um, which is awesome. Welcome back. <laughs> but let's elaborate on this beautiful card you picked again, because, um, yeah, it, it's pretty much the perfect card, right? So <laughs> yes, yes, it is. I'm, I'm, very, I'm very happy about it um it's it's yeah i as i said i i see a lot of growth and a lot of beautiful growth and a lot of colorful powerful growth and um and it's and also it's it's not already completely out, outgrown so it's on the in the middle of the way you know it's like there is a lot of space to go up to uh, still so um beautiful beautiful thank you on elaborating on this beautiful card and yes what are you like that's the perfect card also to ask what are your goals where do you have you got like a vision uh, like a five or ten years vision no my my to be honest my my big big goal is um i'd love to have my own um production company where I produce my own films, um, where I, I get to decide um, which uh, scripts are going to be shot, who is directing. Um, I, 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 really, I really have, I'm aiming for a lot of creative people to surround a group of a, a yeah. lot of creative people. And um, yeah, so I, I, I want to do my own movies uh, at some point. And um, I, 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 yes, <laughs> <laughs> and I still, I still, I, I still am an actress and I still want to do a lot of things in acting. So, um, yes, that those are also my goals to, to, to work more as an actress. And, and your passion, one, one clearly sees your love and passion for what you're doing. And, and, and that Thank makes you. you also an amazing coach. Uh, in thank, you. <laughs> thank you very much thank you. yeah thank you thank you for having ha having me here I, I i i love talking to you that's awesome thank yeah <laughs> it was thank a you. wonderful chat with you uh Mattia, and um we're going to then blend in people don't hesitate to get in touch with Mattia, and and also ask questions whenever there are questions popping up and um, it was a beautiful wonderful chat with you thank you so much Mattia. Thank you very much. And to everyone out there, have your goals, be clear about your goals yeah. and um, empower yourself and others and keep on thinking positive in a supportive way. Yeah. Amazing. So bye-bye, Matthew. It was amazing having a chat with you. And stay Thank tuned. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.